Welcome to beautiful Cleveland. It's not a bad day out here today as we look at our Illinois Bone and Joint Institute starters and scratches. We restore the health and quality of lives. Darren Archibald has been very hot for the Wolves. He's on the left side along with Andrew Gordon on the right. Nathan Longpre is in the middle. On defense, Mark Matheson and Chris Tanov and Matt Klimy the nod in net. Scratches tonight, Zach Miskovic, Jan Sove, Steve Minizato, Anton Rodin, Guillaume Debien, and Eddie Lack. Allstate, goaltender matchup. Allstate, Chicago's own good hands. Matt Klimy last year, 3-0 against Lake Erie, including a shutout. He gets the call for the Wolves. The rookie, Calvin Pickard, will go in between the pipes for the Monsters tonight. He has dropped his last four starts, one in a shootout. He started his rookie campaign 5-3-0. And, oh. and out to center comes Kevin Cannot. He'll lead the charge across the enemy line with Cassie. The shot blocked by Barry. Heads around. Mabosa couldn't get it out. Wolves hold the zone. And it rolled away from Brett Sorey. Now a chance the other way. Oliver lets it rip and it's off of Jocelyn out of play. Good play by Jocelyn. He's got such great speed. He's able to come across quickly and take away that slap shot by Oliver, who's been a very good player for this, this team. Solid player he is. The Wolves get a little confused here. Andrew Abbott and Brett Sterling not sure who was going to take the puck and uh, maybe a little bit of lack of communication. Puck laid there. Oliver got the opportunity striding down the left side. You can see the block with the extended stick by Jocelyn. Arvosa on the faceoff. Wins the draw for the Monsters. Sticking the face there. Revit, I think. And it's holding it up, and now it's turned over. Scarbosa out in front, whips it just wide as Evan has gotten to the Wolves' bench. Replaced Perry's shot off the traffic iron, but grabbed by all the shoots, he scores. It's a Teddy Bear toss game here in Cleveland. And Alder's first the fifth of the season makes it 1 0. Just spoke about him, too. What an opportunity, and all stemmed from. Andrew Abbott, when he went down, it was almost a power play situation in favor of the Monsters, and they kept good control of it. The Wolves did get the change, but the puck just laid there for Oliver. Here's the face-off. I'm not sure what happens here. Well, there's the stick raising uh, the face. Yeah, it came up from Oliver, actually. And the uh, play continues. It must have been in the eye. You could see him. Uh... So after that, it just becomes... One of those situations where you, everyone starts chasing. And that's exactly what happened. And when they finally got it sorted out, Puck laid there for Oliver to the right of Matt Climey. He virtually had an empty net. Nice play on his part to hold on just that extra second. Climey went down, and he was able to go around him for the early goal. Well, Agazino almost got the having a conversation with Billy Gar Car <laughs> Gardner Karma there. We talked to him this morning from Vaughan, Ontario. Just behind the rink there. Yeah. That's where I frequented often uh, as a youngster. Malone will throw it in from center. Picked up by Cannon, reversing it to Matheson. Lay right down to Andrew Ebbett. Ebbett out to center. Lead pass with intent for passing. Picked up by Sterling. Sterling shot, punched away by Pickard. Big rebound, bounces back to the line. Matheson to Tana, back to Matheson. Walks, down low. Ebbett shoots, he scores! Andrew Ebbett. Spent five dollars on a Red Bull, and he said if he scored tonight, it'd be worth it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of gave it to him, too, because he didn't have any karma with me uh, last game. And he said, you know what, I think I'll save it for this one. So he certainly has done that also. This is a great play by Mark Matheson. I was very uh, surprised at the first save by Pickard, a punch out. He actually gave the Wolves possession again. There's the pass by Matheson. Everyone expecting, I believe, at that point, Matheson to shoot. And they bunch up. He spots Ebbett coming from the corner, makes a fine feed, and uh, Ebbett with good hands, poised with the puck, skates across, gets himself into an area where that net is just empty, and he slides it in. He's got a little Saturday night fever. He had the power play goal last Saturday in his fourth of the year. Ties this game at one. He doesn't have to take the monkey off this time. <laughs> no, he does not. And it bounces out to center. Not sure why that would be called icing, but uh, deemed that way. But a power play for the Wolves, poke interference. Two shots in the opening, NCH Medical Group, man advantage, as Pope will sit for two minutes. And a shorthanded chance right off the faceoff, stopped by Climbing. that was a two on one. And what a chance there for Carey. Malone stepped over that puck. 
Emmett looking for two stops. Sterling shoots, he scores! Brett Sterling finds a loose change, and he puts it home on the power play. His seventh of the season, now tied with Jordan Schrader for the team lead. Easily could be 2-1 to one in favor of the Lake Erie Monsters when Malone overskated. The puck had an empty net himself for the Wolves then, and turn, go up the ice. And what a play by Brett Sterling in front of the net with his right boot. Here's the last draw. Watch Malone, he's gonna drive to this net. Players overskate the puck, you, you gotta stop there. They did not, Ebbett, the third man, able to move it up. Brett Sterling initially, casting a drop pass, Ebbett shot, watch the skate plate, there it is. He kicks it up to his forehand and swats it into the empty net. That's a great deke. <laughs> we bit of soccer there, but a nice play by Brett Sterling individually. That's a no call there. There's Billy Thomas, I believe, flying down the wing. Each team had three power plays in the opening period. Wolves won the three of the night. Sterling the power play goal. Ebbett with the assist has the puck now. Gives it off to Brett Sterling across the line. Sterling walking in. Hunt all open. Has to go to a down and he hit the outside of the net. Well, everything but finishing strong play. Hunt out in front of his poke loose. Picked up by Cassid. Does it get through? Oh. Ebbett to Sterling. He scores! Brett Sterling second of the game. And now the outright lead with eight goals on the air. How about the number of quality chances the Wolves had in that sequence of the 20 seconds? And Brett Sterling, we saw him score just a wonderful goal in front of the net at the other end with a skate blade. Good control of it. This one here, it's brute strength, wanting the puck. And it's so funny. Uh, as of late, you got to want to score. And Brett Sterling certainly has all those ingredients. Let's go back to this good play by Hunt. He tried to stuff it himself. And he lost his balance, couldn't do it. The Wolves pick it up. Sterling to the front. Hunt misses again. Casting shots redirected. Evan, great feet across the top of the crease. And there's that strength I'm talking about. He just wanted that puck. He knew it was coming. And he outmuscled the defender and just threw it in. Reverses away from the pressure. Now two monsters in and getting a piece. They heard. They'll be aware of Bordelow on the ice, as I mentioned earlier. He's running around. I remember the start of the year when they talked about uh, bringing him back. He's in his fifth year now. I'm talking about the fact that he's the only real tough, aggressive guy they have. He said that's all they need here. Yeah. <laughs> 72 penalty minutes. And a pretty good plus four, which is second best of the team. So, to do it without being a liability as well. Van Der shoots, he scores! And it's a one goal game. Just when you think things are getting rosy, a bit of a break. Vander Gulick, I think, comes from the bench. And he's available. This is a perfectly placed shot off the fire post. He's a left-handed shot. He's on the right-hand side. The Wolves with control of the puck here. Connaughton hits the linesman, and that certainly hurt. Puck batted back in, and it's uh, Vander Gulick in uh, a lot of room and area. So, quite honestly, I didn't realize it was that bad, but uh, the referee the pardon me, linesman was in the way, and the uh, puck was uh, sent back. I'm not sure if that was Hadar sent it back into the zone. Vander Gulick, the only player to pick it up and just rifle it off the post. I was wondering that too. That's right there. Lerd waiting for it. Archibald got in the way, but now Elliott out to center for Barry. Six on five. The Monsters bring in the rules. Defense converges. Edit right back on the ice with one of his left handed sticks. And one of the players, Hadar knocked down. Up to Elliott. Pushed across. They go to the deep slot. He was there to break it up. Jocelyn, a heads up play there. Hader will flip it ahead. And Come an on. empty net for Evan if he can get to no it. Icing. And out of real estate, but he negates the icing. I'll tell you what, that's a good play by Jocelyn. We were on him about the Hamilton game when he iced it in the last about 12 seconds. He was top two, and that's a much better play. Great play. Ooh. Bad break off the corner boards, and the shot too high and wide. The tie and out by Ebbett. This puck out of the reach of Cassian. Barry will bring it in with 30 seconds to go. Ebbett in the corner. Reverses it up the wall. Chaucer ties up his man. Story hustling, held it in. Blocked by Sterling. Cassian to center. He'll send a slow roller in to kill the clock. Lucky that was slow enough, too. But Sterling may be available. Sterling keeps it contained in the corner. Sterling just more content to killing the clock than picking up a hat trick. And one final rush now for the Monsters, up ice. A wrister bounced away. And in short order, 18 and just over a quarter season, the Wolves have picked up franchise win number 800. Well, very nice. Uh, that is a huge number for the few number of years that the Wolves have uh, been in the professional ranks. 
So congratulations for the organization on that. Nice game by Brett Sterling. And uh, this is a, somewhat of a, a different effort. I thought the second period the Wolves took over really played a very solid second period. Uh, looked like they were going to walk away with this game. Got themselves in a little bit of trouble, but able to hold on here in the third. Mm -hmm. 